the thing I didn't want to see happen actually happened. Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to Supercross from the Hood. And today we're going to be talking about the new Mercedes AMG GT. Now, to give you some context of what I'm talking about, a few years ago, Mercedes announced the new AMG SL, which was replacing the GT Roadster. And, you know, I'm not too fond of roasters. I don't really care for them. So I didn't really have an issue with them replacing the sportier roaster with the more luxury oriented SL. I figured that was fine because the SL and the GT were going to be two different cars. Well, <laughs> joke's on me because now they're essentially the same car. The new the new GT essentially looks like the outgoing model. Only difference is the size and the interior layout. This car is a 2x2. Two two. If you don't know what a 2x2 two two is, that is two doors and two rows of seats. Think uh, Porsche or, you know, cars of that ilk. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with 2 plus 2 cars. This was just a red flag for me because it told me that this and the SL shared the same platform, and that is not a good thing to me. Mercedes is essentially making the similar or same mistake they made with the original SL that they replaced and gave to AMG. They have taken the fangs, the bite out of the AMG GT. Now, I'm not talking about the power of this car because it's plenty powerful. And I'm not talking about the engine because it is still a V8. I am talking about how big this car is and the transmission. This car is about six inches longer than the outgoing model and a thousand pounds heavier. A thousand pounds and has Mercedes multi-clutch transmission. Now, I don't know too much about this transmission, but I did check to see what other cars was in, and it's mostly in SUVs and crossovers. And the granted, it is also in the C and S class, but those also aren't sports cars. They're luxury, slow, lofty vehicles. And yeah, I don't know if that's going to fit with the nature of the AMG GT as we known it. And I know I didn't talk about the design of this car because it still looks like an AMG GT. A lot of the design features of the AMG GT Black Series carries over to this car. It's more of the guts that I care about than the exterior or interior design features of this car. Mercedes is really touting the grand touring aspects of this car. They're talking about how spacious it is, how roomy it is for luggage and how comfortable it is on long road trips they are really heading that direction instead of the sports car direction and i think that's a huge mistake as the mistake they made with the original sl while it looked really sporty it wasn't a fast car it was more of the car your granddad would buy when it was time for him to retire and they've gone that same direction with the AMG GT. So, yeah, I was hoping for another, you know, sports car like the SLS to come after the GT, but it doesn't look like they're going that direction. AMG 1 is going to be the Halo car, and underneath that is going to be some what used to be sports cars. There's not going to be any supercars under that that people are going to be interested in this is going to be some gt cars you can be comfortable in and for that that's what the basic mercedes benz is for amg is supposed to be something different and they're going in a totally different direction and i don't know what direction that is so there you have it my thoughts on the new mercedes amg gt hopefully i'm wrong about this car hopefully we can get some real sports cars out of this model faster than we did the last one because when this car was announced i just turned 30 i'm about to be 40 so yeah hopefully it doesn't take nine years for them to get to an amg gt black series 2.0 so if you like the video like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video if you want to see what i got planned next come see what i got planned next got a lot of store for the channel we want you guys to be there with me with that said i'll catch you later